So the answer could not be here today, but I'm going to present in their behalf. So they are tackling the crown coding uh, task using a scale adaptive convolutional neural network. So in the crown coding task, what you want to do is count how many pedestrians are in one image. You can either do this using a head detector, or you can do density regression. They have seen that density regression outperforms a uh, head detector, so they, they went on with this solution. One of the main challenges uh, in crown counting is that um, you have pedestrians of very various sizes, uh, so as you can see in this image. And uh, to tackle this issue, the previous works have uh, created networks having multiple filter sizes, um, so, and uh, patch-based inference. Um, and patch base is a create a patch, a patch which is uh, containing approximately the same scale uh, persons. But both of these previous works are actually quite heavy to compute. So they propose a new uh, network, which is a single backbone, uh, very easy, based on VGG, uh, which only conti contains uh, three times three filters, and that has, in the end, a regression loss. So the regression loss is that you compare pixel by pixel as a density map predicted to the ground truth density map uh, using Euclidean distance. And um, having these three times three filters uh, is very efficient in terms of uh, fastness. So uh, they were quite happy with this. The second thing that they add to tackle the, this time the scale adaptive uh, issue is um, that they, they concatenate together uh, multi-scale uh, future maps. This has been done in detection or segmentation, but this is the first time that it's done in crown counting. So how do they do? They basically change a bit VGG between conf 3 and conf 61 having a stride of one instead uh, of the uh, previous one. And they use a deconvolutional layer uh, between conf 61 and conf 3 then all of the future maps have the same resolution and they can, they can concatenate them uh, together. So uh, this is very efficient in the sense that all the low re resolution uh, representation are shared and so th the training is quite fast. They also come up with, uh, came up with uh, one new loss, which is a relative count loss. So um, this loss just uh, um, is basically the error between the count loss predicted and the ground truth, and it's relative. They have seen that uh, help it, uh, using this count loss helps a lot in sparse crowd uh, images, as we will see later. They uh, propose a new asset, which is called Smart City, which contains uh, pedestrian, um, uh, between 1 and 14 pedestrians per image. And uh, here comes the performances. So uh, they have shown that in uh, both Shanghai and UCF uh, CC50, they outperform all of the previous works, um, but in part A of Shanghai. However, they are uh, very more um, efficient than um, some at all, so uh, their results are very good. In their own data set, which is sparse crowd, uh, they are also outperforming all previous works. So in green is uh, without the count loss, and in red is with the count loss. What you, we can see is that um, having a count loss helps a lot uh, in this uh, very sparse crowd images. And, uh, but both solutions are a bit uh, beaten the previous works. Now they compare themselves to U9000, which is a head detector, to see how well it's doing uh, in sparse um, images. So as, uh, as we know, U is very efficient as a detector, so in smart city it's actually doing very well and better than, than they work, but it's not working at all in uh, large crowd images when their solution is actually working on both cases. So, in the end, um, their solution is a very efficient simple ba single backbone with small filters, um, and uh, they have shown that image-based inference is enough to deal with the scale barriers in crowded images. In the paper, you will be able to find uh, much more details on scale adaptive model and much more experiments. Both the code and the dataset are available in GitHub, so please uh, feel free to go and check out uh, this uh, code. And uh, the poster will be put tonight uh, for the process session. So, thank you.